Hello everyone and welcome back guys to a brand new video with Stevie here back with more Forza Horizon 5 here from sunny Mexico. Yesterday we're going to be jumping in doing more of the festival playlist of course. Season 0 technically still at the moment before we get into sort of like the proper nitty gritty of it next week. But of course if you missed out on the last video where we drove the Nissan at Fair Lady Z from 2003 where we went through the weekly Forza-thon I would definitely definitely recommend going back and checking it out. But today... We're going to be jumping into the first course seasonal championship here. We've got an AMG E63 to try and unlock from this one. And we need an A-Class Super Saloon as well. So let's head over then. Let's get a car built and let's get into this thing. So this is what we've built then. We've gone up with a BMW M5. I'll be honest, it was just one of the only cars I had in my garage uh, that was eligible to enter this championship. As always, setup is up on the storefront. Just search my gamer tag. At Matt212YT. But yeah, if we win this, sure we'll be able to get ourselves the AMG E63 as well. So let's dive in then. We've got, is it three or is it four races? It's three races to get through here today. So fingers crossed they'll sort of take us to each one. This thing's got 10 out of 10 launch. Let's hope it comes in clutch. Right, here we are then in the Desansar Dorado Sprint. First race of the day. Obviously, this is the first sort of proper championship we're doing as well here on Horizon 5. But fingers crossed this thing still grips up. I've given it all-wheel drive. Just obviously to a bit better on the rear end. It's got mighty short gears though, you know. I'm kind of trying to make it a bit of a circuit specialist thing as a while there. And sounds, sounds rather meaty. Of course, left the stock engine in it. Obviously went with a lot of the aero. And sort of I focus, you know, on trying to make it a good platform. You know, handling and things like that were obviously really, really important with this car as well there. But top end speed, it's not too shabby either by the looks of it. So obviously 150 miles an hour. We've got another gear to go in this thing. Really got to try and rev out those gears though. 7,500 RPM. This one revs up to us. We've got a couple of E60, uh, sorry, C63s even I should say. So that's a bit of a send there. And we'll, yeah, still struggles a little bit on the brakes it appears. Oh, AI struggling through that corner. So we should be able to get a run on the RCF. Thank you very much. We've got another BMW. I think, this, is it an M4 leading the way? I think it is an M4. So we'll try and do the up and under on him. No, nope, not quite able to get the momentum on the exit of the corner. Up the inside we go, though. This thing's got so much grip through the corners, you know, and it really is a track bread specialist on this game. Like, you know, M5s are always designed for as well. But yeah, we are now under the lead of this race as we get in towards the final third. Just got a few more twisty bits. So look how stable it is. Yeah, we'd definitely recommend downloading this tune if you need to try and complete this championship. Don't, don't look at that, though. Don't look at that. Final corner, though. Let's just get this thing through here. Struggles a little bit slower speed rotation, but down towards the start-finish line, then. It is going to be the first dub of the day there, and obviously starting this championship as we mean to go on. Can we go three from three? Let's find out. Right, second race of the day, then, and this one is a proper circuit, so this thing really should come alive in this one. Let's try and just get a nice launch there. I've got to try and remember the gear is so, so short on this thing. I did think about putting like a 9 or a 10 speed gearbox in it, but I thought no, 8 speeds is probably enough for this thing around here. But yeah, this track again, much more sort of suited to the car. There's a go 3 wide away. Oh, AI breaking very, very early there. Down in towards the first corner as we're going to muscle out the infinity there. Don't see too many of those in the real world. But yeah, we are straight up into the podium places then, as it looks like we've got. Is it? No, it's two BMWs, I think, and an Audi is leading the way. I want to say it's an old RS7 at the front of the field here, but this looks like a nice, cool little track. I think it, is it the same one we did in the Evo a few days back? I think it might have been. Yeah, no, yeah, no I think it is. I think it is. We're, we're slowly learning a few more of the tracks on this game as well, though, which of course is really important, but now at least the AI so I'll give you a proper run for your money as no, this definitely isn't the same track we drove in the Evo. There is a nice baby blue M4 as well as we head down in towards the final corner. Is it flat out? Nearly. Oh, we almost went down the middle of those two there. The RS7 does still lead at the end of lap one here. He's definitely got a lot more top end than me. But that's not going to help him through the corners as we get up the inside. And up to the lead we go of race two. Definitely, yeah, this thing is very, very good so far. Nice and planted as well. They've just got to be careful on the brakes. And yeah, slow speed. We're, we're still definitely struggling a little bit. Heading in towards the final couple of corners, though, of this race. Let's see what this last lap is going to be there. Let's see if we can try and get down in towards the one-minute flat through the final corner. Now, definitely flat out as I build up a bit more confidence 
in the car there. Down towards the start-finish line. It is going to be a 102.9, I think, right at the end of the day there. But two for two so far in this championship. You absolutely love to see that. This thing is performing well early on there. Let's have a quick look at what the championship standings are looking like as well. There, as we watch everyone else come across the line. 40 points there to 32 in the RS7, 26 for the M4 and the M5 apiece there. So only four of us can go into the final race with a chance at the win. Let's see what we can do. Must admit, this thing in cockpit cam does sound rather good as well. There's, let's see just how much this thing can pull. I don't think we'll quite get a top speed run out of it. So now a skill song has shown up as well there. And almost 150 as we go through the speed camera there. Up into top gear. I mean, that was an uphill and it was still pulling rather well for a car in E-Class, remember? These things aren't massively fast. But yeah, let's just see there. 160 odd miles an hour. Already going over the factory limiter, but we have got to the third and final race of the day. Let's try and go three for three. Right, final race then of the day here at the Anulas. Let's see what we can do. See if we can go three for three in this championship. Second gear to 16 miles an hour. And to be honest, a lot of the gears are pretty... That, that's actually one of the longer gears still by the looks of it. But I think this one is going to be a little bit more high speed. We only need fourth place to mathematically wrap this thing up still, so it doesn't need to be a win. There is everyone Constantine is up through turn one, but you know, really, we, we've gone two for two so far. I think I think this car deserves it as much as anything else here to go three for three in this championship. But you never know what will happen. We've got a couple of Volvos still just in front of us. Would, would I class a Volvo as a super saloon? Uh, I'm not convinced. I, yeah, I don't really know. It's sort of in a weird little bracket, isn't it? At the end of the day, up the inside we go, though. I think this cross won't have to worry about that anymore if we can't see it. There's, oh, look at that. One of these. Oh, yeah, I think that's a Porsche going up the inside of the Lexus there. The Volvo, clearly not happy with me, sends it back up the inside as well. Yeah, like I said, obviously, you only need the top four in this race. And there we go, over to the podium places once again. We are just now, as we get through the twisty of it, cycling our way to the front of the group. Ooh, a lot of understeer there, but luckily the wall comes away from you on the exit of that corner. This is some very interesting little roads near the motorway. Don't often get a chance to drive on some roads like this as well. And this is always what I enjoyed about doing the championships on Horizon 4. Sometimes they take you down roads that obviously just don't really make sense to use in the game as well as past the RS7 we go. Just knocking his bumper off for good measure there as well. He's going to try and cover off the inside. I'm up to the lead of the third and final race then of the day. And yeah, this thing has been absolutely pulling. No issues whatsoever. Only real thing it struggled with is really tight corners. And then maybe top end speed as well. But it's not really too important in this sort of race nonetheless. But yeah, as we head in towards the final quarter of the final race. Pulling uphill. This thing still revs. 7,000 RPM. As we head in through the final couple of turns there, we can see the finish line on the map now, and no one else is within sight. So, yeah, we have absolutely wiped the floor with this event. It does look like we're going to go three from three. It does look like we're going to be able to un unlock the E63 as well as we come out over the top of the hill there, in towards of town as well as we head down 150 miles an hour. This might be the top speed we get out of this thing. 160 over the line, and that's the championship complete. Final race then of the day there and is another comfortable dub, meaning full 60 out of 60 points at the end of that one. The RS7 second ahead of the RS6 there and the Volvo actually coming in clutch to finish out in P4 there. But there we go. The E63, we have unlocked it here on Forza Horizon 4. Let's have a look, see if there are any other rewards available to us as well for completing that championship. Seasonal rewards. <laughs> Always fresh. E63, yes, we've unlocked another Horizon chapter as well. We'll get some XP almost up to level 26 as well. What did you think? Did you like it? I did enjoy that, I think. But yeah, there we go. BMW, you have served your purpose for us today. New Horizon chapter as well unlocked as we pick up some more bonuses and things like that. But that also means we're up to 24 of the... Uh, sorry, 25 of the 26 points we need for the NSX as well. There, of course, we've completed a one more of the challenges as well, the daily challenges as well. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed, do make sure you leave a like and get yourself subscribed. Next time round, we'll be taking on the seasonal playground games to try and unlock the Porsche Macan RR. 
You guys do not want to miss it.